I'm gonna show you the five best free guitar VST plugins. Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs. Let's jump right into it. Kicking it off with number one on this list, arguably in my opinion, the best free guitar VST plugin out there, especially when it comes to acoustic guitars, and that is the Ample Guitar M2 Lite. So I'm gonna play it. Now, the big thing about this plugin, I'm gonna be honest, I've done an entire video about it, is you could do a 30 minute video all about this plugin, right? So I'm just, you know, scratching the surface here. But you can see right off, amazing sound quality, really neat GUI, right? Like you can see as here when I play it. I also have a bunch of features here, but that's only in the beginning. I also can do the strummer, right, and play this. So let's do, let's say, pattern one, for example. Switch to pattern two. And I can create all these different melodies that I want and even like create different things here. Almost like I'm doing like a sequencer, almost. So let's... I have so many features. I mean, there's so much of this plugin, which makes it an incredible incredible free VST. I mean, I can even do whole pedal, for example. Then I can go to tab here. So here's an example. I can open up even more tabs. Um, oh, this one here. Oh, let's do... Metal, oh, let's do this one. All right, so I have an entire tab section. Then I have all these effects. I'm gonna be honest, I typically use the effects, like the stock ones in Ableton, but hey, if you just want a quick compressor or to add in some EQ or touch it up a little bit, you have all these effects right here. And of course, like a wah-wah pedal. Then I can edit things very specifically in terms of the pitch and in terms of the tune. I personally suggest unless you're like an expert player, or there's a very specific thing you're going for, just kind of leaving this alone, to be honest. But then lastly, I can go to settings and do some kind of like macro master settings when it comes to this entire plugin. But I'm telling you, when it comes to guitar VSTs, especially free ones, I mean, this one even beats a lot of paid ones I've seen online, you cannot beat it. Next up is Xenology. This is a huge Rompler style plugin you could see with a bunch of different instruments from jazz stuff to oboes to basses to synth leads to vocal stuff ton of the, a ton of different instruments this plugin's insane and if i type in guitar right we have these guitars here i'm not gonna lie some of these are a bit casio keyboardish other ones are a bit better right like any kind of romp style plugin but on this video i want to kind of show you the spread of different guitar vsts so i'm going to play some of these so let's do nylon guitar One huge pro tip I'm gonna say, especially when it comes to guitar VSTs, is it's never a bad idea to try out like an amp. Um, let's say if you wanna make it either more realistic or give it a certain grit to it. So with, let's say this blues setting, right? Obviously you definitely wanna adjust the settings for sure. Right, but I find just adding an amp, even on let's say to a really bad, guitar VST plugin immediately makes it, in my opinion, a little bit more realistic and a little bit better, depending on, of course, what you're going for. But so right there we have the, uh, let me take this off, the nylon guitar instrument. Then we have comp steel. Then we have chorus guitar. little like dreamy feel then we have the Syrian guitar too and then lastly a distortion guitar
Next up, Haunted Guitar Light. When I first picked this one up, I thought it was going to be like a blend of creepy elements with guitars. But if you like, it mostly just has a guitar sound, to be honest. So to play you the first uh, preset we have here. So what's good about this one, honestly, is I feel like it doesn't really have much of a scary haunted or horror feel, more of just a classic guitar feel, especially like in rock guitar style uh, sound design. This one does have a nice haunted pad to it. Bit of like a lead type sound too. We do have some settings here, you can hear some of these. Finish on. A lot of, re lot of distortion, excuse me. And then, might as well do all of them. Then we have the funeral. Then Vor. Now we have the classic guitar from Quiet Music. Again, I'm showing you a bunch of guitar style textures and sounds and instruments. This one has more of a meditative ambient guitar style sound when it comes to these presets. So to play you with the first one. Almost a bit of a plucky, even almost like a harp type sound. Right, like so if you want more of like a new age meditative, almost like a dreamy guitar style feel. Nice delay on that one too. Just like an icy feel. It's more of a classic, I'd say, guitar style feel in terms of like an acoustic guitar. And last, but definitely not least, Spitfire Audio Labs. Going to their site first off, let's go here first. If I go to Labs, this is very similar to Contact. This is all completely free, by the way. Will you download the Spitfire Audio Labs plugin? And there's a bunch of an instruments or packs you can download. If I click guitars under their packs, you can see I have everything from a bass guitar, mandolin, peel guitar, auto harp, guitar harmonics, lap steel, the list goes on and on and on. So going here now to the actual plugin, you can see under bass guitar, I can like say load up the amp. Obviously on this video, I'm not really focusing as much on like bass guitars, so to speak, but just to show you, why not? Up a bit. Right? And then let's say going to guitar harmonics, which is a really cool one. Something's a bit odd, I'm not gonna lie, but if you want like a very specific, like harmonical style feel, let's see if we can find like a good one. It's more of like a pad. Right, we have this kind of like odd kind of style when it comes to we want like you know as you can see soft plucks um we have a bunch here sustain for example and more of like a pad i'd say but then we have electric guitars it's 
So some of these you do have to kind of click around because you have a bunch of you pop. Let's go to Plux again under Rock. And then let's do rock rhythms. 